You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. With me today in studio, the historic Michael Giuliano. Michael, you there? Yes, I'm here. Thank you for having me, bro. Oh, man. You know what? Just uh, as we were talking right before we got on, my, my, my goal is to get everybody and uh, anybody that'll come on. But when I get a chance to have on an icon like yourself, oh, man, I stop everything I'm doing. I I, I, I got some trash talk I got to finish for uh, – uh, for Jay tomorrow, but hey, that can wait. Right now, it's all it's <laughs> yeah. all about uh, it's all about the WWL and this uh, and this historic comeback you're making. Well, th- thank you for the build off. <laughs> I don't think I could have wrote, written one better than that, bro. Uh, yeah, the it's I was been out about a year, maybe a little longer. I'm not, I'm not, that's my one weakness. Uh, a little t- time frame is never too good, but uh, there was only one manager I would come back for one commissioner as we talked about and that was uh melvin and uh little by little he prodded he prodded and uh he i finally uh got the got the itch to come back and uh you know i'm on the show to exclude give you an exclusive also and the exclusive is i am the uh mystery um uh, mystery masked icon that you oh, yeah. and now- talked about Oh yeah, now those uh, those of you guys listening, uh, you might have already heard uh, the second show of Melvin and myself had. So, uh, oh yeah, this, this this is definitely an exclusive. So you know, I stop what you're doing and uh, get ready for uh, for a big one. <laughs> now, I mean, and... as we're talking WWL, Melvin, I, I mean, uh, I mean, it's it, it, in the Diamond Federation for those managers listening. For if, if you need somewhere to go and. Uh, before before we get into the characters, I mean, I, I want to get a little into into you know why why it's so important you know that we have these shows and why it's so important that we highlight you know managers like Michael. I mean, Michael is an exclusive manager to the WWL. So yeah, if you want to sh- yeah. if you want a shot at this historic manager, make your way to the WWL right now. Melvin's doing some amazing stuff, and yeah, I mean these characters that we're about to highlight. Some of them have been in the IWA for over 20 years, so it's just, you know, you're, you're going to get the chance to fight against, you know, some legends. So, oh, yeah, WWL yeah. is about to set it off. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of young guys who want to make a name for themselves and no better way to make a name for yourself. Come to WWL and take on one of the legends, trash talk them, kick the, you know, kick the shit out of them, you know, and if you beat them, then you th- – th- th- it's even it's better for both of us if you actually if you actually are lucky enough to beat me (laughs) good enough (laughs) or good enough to beat me whichever term you want to use uh and then you know it it will go from there but um yeah you can't go wrong when you join uh, a league commissioned by uh, melvin he's aces and he is truly cutting edge truly like innovative and um, like I told you, there's no other manager or commissioner that could have gotten come back than nice. Melvin. Like I could have joined, like I was telling you, I could have joined my old ECL league, went to Diamond, where I'm comfortable. It, 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 everything writes itself. I wouldn't have to do anything. But I, I haven't went back to ECL. I'm going back to the WWL. You know, that's where I'm going. So nice. now, that hey, really goes wait, to show how good we, he is. Now, I mean, you have a big cast, I mean, like, and uh, you're like, you know, uh, in a similar way to the way I think where, you know, your characters, you know, they don't forget, you know, they have their history, they have their titles, they've gone from different leagues. And, you know, just because they're moving to the WWL doesn't mean that their history in their prior leagues just, you know, vanishes. No, on the contrary, uh, I plan on using the history. It's uh, it's something I do wherever I go, use the, you know, you just, you don't just use the past, but you can use core pieces of their history to define the character. And then you just then stuff within the WWL or whatever league you're in. Then you go from there. That's how I like to approach it. Nice. Now, uh, as we begin uh, unmasking some of these characters, uh, Michael, did you want to start like uh, with, with a particular one or or did you want to? Let's uh, we'll go kind of from like. Uh, the bottom up so to speak you know let's, okay. we'll we'll start with um the, the only lady of the cast that's the black widow denise destiny she is the former nbl or nbl world champion where melvin also was the commissioner 
and that he very well knows um she was by far the most dominant female wrestler there so <clears throat> excuse me we will i will definitely use that like her past success in another elite league which the nba was at the time um to make a splash with the other female wrestlers that he has which are loaded so she's gonna have her work cut out for her and oh yeah wwl yeah it won't we, be we, we were uh we, we were just highlighting uh eva danger there in the in the wwl so that should be uh it should be interesting to see if uh, oh, if that yeah. works e- up to. Oh, evil, evil definitely will see some uh, of the Black Widow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Well, who do we got next? Then there's um. Uh, well, then there's you know my my own self made moniker, the historic MG. Um, and as we discussed off air, he's historic, based on I've been told by the IWA, um, I'm the only manager ever to win the triple world title meaning singles world, world tag, world six in the same league and the same cycle. And that's where I came up with the egotistical heel, the historic MG. And he's like a mouthpiece, like he acts as a manager, but he also wrestles. So when he loses, it's not a big deal because that's not his primary focus. So he's protected in that way. So if he loses a feud, loses a match, not a big deal. His main thing is he's the he'll talk for other guys that maybe don't have um, aren't defined by their dialogue as much. Nice. Now, now I I gotta ask um, that uh, that world championship that tag and that six was it one single strat one tag strat one six strat or was it or, or, or like the world champion was a part of all three of them? No, they, they were they were separated actually. Uh, the I, to be honest. I think I could be wrong, but I think the the world champ was a single was by himself. The tag were two separate other wrestlers, and then I think the six was also separate and uh, um, Jade in the um, SHL. Nice, nice. Congrats. Thanks, man. Long time ago, though. Oh, good, good old days. <laughs> <laughs> You're like who's who's next on the wonderful list? Oh, who's next? All right, we'll we'll then we'll go with the insurance policy. The insurance policy is built like I would like, a, and the funny thing is I'm going to name people and tell you about them, but like wrestlers have been created afterwards that have mimicked. So for instance, he was billed as like Braun Strowman, only like taller, like seven feet, three eighty five, three seventy five. Oh shit! <laughs> but but his but I caught co- and like you'll notice I also copy from like little kernels of truth from other people. So. A lot of a lot of people may not remember Ravishing Rick Rude was considered the insurance policy in DX back in the day, and I stole that as my one of my wrestlers. I was like, okay, I could call someone the insurance policy, and he'll be the enforcer. So he acted in the Arn Anderson role, but was a huge like Diesel type of guy, big guy, nice. and uh, he was he was just there to power bomb you. You you know like he never maybe a commissioner title here and there but nothing noteworthy he's um he, he's just like the brute force you know that's that's his role like he'll do hardcore matches like he, he'll be in the you know the hardcore title discussion something like that that's that's the insurance policy and then there's the future Devin destiny he's uh like the hbk guy um technical wrestler or can high can high fly in can do everything but kind of cocky um narcissist the, the old heel hbk <clears throat> so that's that's the the future Devin destiny then there is i think um there's the extreme survivor now he's the survivor's younger brother so um so people don't know the survivor's my main guy that i've had for over 20 years nice. and who i've won the most with most like uh nationals gold feds bunch of stuff with what um with the survivor back in the day with the hml hitman league which is now defunct um and he was actually nicknamed mr hml uh by the commissioner there that's how good he was nice. his name is john lala who is the commissioner of the iml and iron i believe could be defunct now i'm not sure it would even exist but uh, oh, john sorry. lala john lala from california yeah um but I, i'm jumping around sorry um but the extreme survivor is a tormented soul, much in the same line as like mankind. Um, so I try to use people who exist, but make it my own. Um, 
and he's tormented on the outside and inside and um he's obviously extreme but dane you know doesn't just go for the extreme title he's much more main event guy but but extreme um and let's see who else we have then we have the tag team who is patterned they're called the twin brothers of destruction pattern after of course kane and the undertaker um they're nice. fire and ice so fire and ice their finisher is the meltdown uh, they're bolt 6 10 320 then they're and they both have their own singles like the um ice has actually been world champion in the ecl um fire multi-time um um extreme champion in the ecl but um they were really dominant in the um in the ecl had a lot of fun but ice is like the cool like blue eyes stare you down you know doesn't say much um fire has the bad temper you know temperamental just what you would think they would be and um have a lot of fun with fire and ice and of course i think i mentioned everyone besides the survivor and he's the, the main the, guy. The main, the main one. The main. the main the main man. Yeah. He's um if you asked me who he's patented after again in ninety seven, I don't know who like at first I thought he'd be like a Rick Flair guy, but he's not. He's more like the cere- like Triple H in his prime, cerebral assassin type of guy. That's how he's portrayed. Yeah. Um he's had you know, in Iron Man matches in ECL and um Hell in the Cell, like he does a lot of the the, the marquee main event type of matches. A lot of, he's had retirement matches with White Lightning Mike Moore in the UCL, you know. It, so that was a big one, because um, I could have lost that and had to leave my UCL. But oh, that would have been, tough. That been <laughs> yeah. Tough. But you know, so and me and now, Mike. Now let, 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 let me ask you about that one. Uh, I mean, yeah. Are are I mean, and, and I'll just say it like this. Are are you to the word? I mean, a retirement match is a retirement match. Like, it's all. Yeah, if I if I lost, I would let I would I would like retirement, and for that league meaning you leave. Yeah, it, okay. it means more by saying retirement than saying loser leaves the league. I gotcha. like saying the word retirement gives it a much more um powerful, you know, um connotation. Right, like you're you're done. You can't come back to this. Type yeah. Of okay. And then I would and then of course the plan's always you come back with a mask on. You, you, you know, you do, you, you know, you, you petition. There's a bunch of angles right. where you can run for a return, but you have to honor it for a while. Yeah. And, 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 and Mike, as you, as you're saying that, let me, I mean, let, let's just, let's just piggyback off of that because there's a lot of new managers that are listening and there's, you know, there, there's that uneasy feeling sometimes where managers might take, you know, the words in the, in the bulletin to heart and actually retire their guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, guys, don't, don't do that. And you got to be able to feel free to throw everything out there. Let, you know, just play the role. Don't let anything back and just realize it's just a role. As long as you realize you're just playing a role and you don't make it real, then, you know, you're not going to get butt hurt. You're not going to get, you know, skin. Not gonna be too, you can't have thin skin and play the game. It just doesn't work out well. You right. got to have thick skin, you know. Right. And now and, and in hearing in hearing your characters, Michael, I mean, it, it just it, it adds to the dimensions that uh, that Melvin's trying to bring there to the WWL because, you know, he does have such an in-depth report and he's going to have, you know, all, all the performance trackers that are going to be tracking, you know, individual performance. And like you said, you know, you're going in there. You're not going in as a, you know, per se, per stable. You're going in with characters and each individual character is going to be looking for some action or each tag team is going to be looking for the, you know, their, their piece of the. So, so he, he's one of the few, like, because it's Melvin and the WWL, like in any other league, I would try to make, you know, I would probably have fire and ice go for single championships, but in this league fire and ice, because I respect how he runs the league so well, they'll pretty much be exclusively a tag team. Like they'll win their single stuff and you know, they're going to, and people will think they're just tag wrestlers and they'll ruin you know they'll have they'll get a wake up call, but they will they will run exclusively as a tag team in the WWL. Nice because you have, and then like that's why I have the one woman because y- you know you can get lost in the shuffle if you try to juggle and be okay. I'm gonna make this guy a single a tag and do this. No, you it, it, to me if you want to be in my opinion, you gotta specialize uh, when you're in an elite league like the WWL. Um, so like for instance, I will. I will take the extreme survivor and probably concentrate him on 
the extreme aspect for now because he's sharing the lead. This is the first time ever he will share a lead with the survivor. Nice. And, but before he he's gone to the X XPL and the MBL, he's never been. He was never in the ECL. And this will be the first time that they share a league. So I have to keep their characters separate for a while. And I have plans for them to clash themselves maybe at some point, some storyline. But for now, they got to stay separate. Let Survivor do his main event run or go pick on a main event guy and let him do the mid card thing when an extreme type of guy or just an extreme few. It doesn't have to be a mid card guy, so to speak. And then the. What I'm going to do with the future, for now, I think uh, the future historic and um, policy, I think we'll do a six-man angle, just have them get their feet wet with six-man, so let MG talk, and, you know, then that way, and off the worry about, if they win singles, great, but then there's a, um, there, I don't know the manager off the top of my head or the guy's name, but there's a six-man triad that just made their debut in the WWL, and they talked about being the best six man tag team. So I think they're the perfect spot to go with there. Nice. So oh, that's yeah, a no, it, draft it, plan right now. <laughs> not, and it's, and it's nice that you, you know, you know, lay it out that way because there's some managers out there that, you know, you know, might not have a you know hard time, you know, figuring out how to, you know, how to work their trash talk in certain leagues. I mean, because I mean, let's say it like it is the WWL is one of the only leagues that's, actually rewarding trash talk from what i can tell i'm, I'm not gonna you know don't quote me on that because i don't know <laughs> what's going on in every league but i mean from what you know the ones that i've you know reviewed and the ones that i've had on the show he's the only one that i know is actually uh rewarding trash talk right now at the moment and he and that pushes me like to be better because i uh i was listening to i think it was your conversation with mylar about how he, he had a feud old school feud where it was back and forth he then he, he waited for the other guy to trash talk or, or um, sneak attack, and then he would do. That's how I usually run my trash talk is it doesn't make sense for you both to trash talk at the same time. It makes more logical sense to reply to the guy the cycle before. So, you, you know, that's how normally I do it. So what I probably will do is try to interchange the, th- the, the, the tag team, the six, and the singles. They won't all trash talk the same cycle maybe. Um and it's not overwhelming for me, and at the same time, um, it it goes with my system of how I trash talk. Because because that's how in real life you say something, or the person says, you know, replies back. So you want I'm I'm about making it as realistic and logical as possible. Nice. Now, now, Michael. I mean, as as we're talking trash talk, I mean, uh, like I said, I know I I know we can have you on here, and uh, and it's nice to have you know managers that focus on trash talk. So I mean, I, I'm going to throw this at you. Okay. I mean, with with the current, you know, social media, you know, aspect that got added to this game and whether it's with the pro boards, whether it's with, you know, some Facebook interaction. I mean, a lot of that mystery trash talk is gone. Yeah. Totally changed the game. Totally. Now, in, in a positive way, it's allowed myself and other managers to build you know, angles with a little more continuity. Maybe I'm not going to tell you everything I'm I'm going to throw at you that cycle, but I'm going to run it by you so that we have a little bit of continuity so yeah, that we so can develop a, a, a angle working it, up to the paper. It, it, it doesn't read like you're just throwing your shit on the wall and see what sticks, yeah. Right, I mean, and, and let's say, I mean, it is a play-by-mail game, so that was the tradition. I mean, that that like you're mentioning, hey, I'm going to throw some trash talk, and I'm going to, you know, I, I I've talked about it, you know, on my early, early shows, where, you know, I remember waiting at the mailbox, waiting yeah. for that bulletin, waiting yeah, to see exactly. if somebody yeah. talks shit, you know. And and yeah, that's kind of, you know, it, it it's not completely gone. But, you know, I, I do enjoy the current, you know, state of trash talk where I can build an angle. Like I said, it may not be as uh, as secretive or this and that, but at least it's working to, you know, build a better product in league. I think it, I think that all makes it that much more important to make your trash talk credible and logical it's not like to me it doesn't matter if you if you know kind of what's going on and you guys talked already if you make what you wrote credible and it makes sense then you're fine it's when you read something and they're like there's just no rhyme or reason it's like watching raw like sometimes you're like where's the promo going and you know and 
they just as long as to me logic and credibility if you can provide those two things in trash talk and in a character then you can kind of ride the waves of a losing streak or or if you're not you're not main eventing right now like there's times where the survivor didn't hit the title page like seven eight cycles that'd be like forever for the survivor because i would you know i don't know if old school guys we would always put our best rat what we think is our best rat for our best wrestler and for a long for a, for a long time that worked for him and then as the holes change and times change, it didn't always work. So I had to evolve with it. But yeah, it challenges you to be um, to add credibility to your to your guys and logic. Just make it make sense, even if you don't want to go with credibility. Just make it make sense. Uh, logic. Think, so that, now, that's now, big for me. Of, yeah. Now, now, in terms of uh, making sense, now I mean yeah. in in the in the in the way of uh, like revolving it around something going on in league. Or yeah, just, have just something, have something it, relevant. Yeah, yeah, something to do with the last trash talk that was said. So are you like I've had guys where they mention nothing what I lay down, made believe I didn't attack them, made believe, didn't didn't retort anything I said, and it just kills what you're doing. You're like, dude, build off of it. You know, so I, like I'm giving you let, gold. I'm giving you yeah. gold. Work with it. <laughs> yeah. So you, it's definitely finding the right partner. To, to to play with also and sometimes that takes time it doesn't happen right away and so it, to me like if i if i found someone not biting just moved on to the next person then usually you hit gold now with let's somebody uh, let, 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 let's stay on this uh on this trash talk because like i said i'm having i'm having a good time going over this right now with you and uh i mean let, let, let's say for instance i mean most iwa managers enjoy the heel I think you yes. said it yourself. You're, I you're, am you're... a self-admitted heel. Yes, I. <laughs> it, no one. Lo- I've done the heel commission, the heel GM, survivors turn heel more time than Big Show. <laughs> you know, so now, uh, now uh, in working, in working a, uh, uh, in working a heel. I mean, are you working initially? You know, are you working like for a turn eventually, or are you working, you know, for uh, yeah. you know, or, or do you, are you coming just raw, nasty off the bat? No, usually, to be honest with you, I, I enjoy the turn. So I will. The survivor has always been presented as a face. So he, he, um, I've changed his music. He, um, I like Iron Man for him. Um, I, I chose that after he won the big Iron Man world title match against my friend John Gabriel in the ECL. Um, and that that was a, a a big thing with him and then like he would just he started becoming so big in leagues for hml and ecl at least he was so big that he would he, he became a fan favorite based on that you know some like kind of like the austin thing to, to use a a reference maybe or kind of like becky's supposed to be a heel but right. she's not um kind of like that and then he would have to turn so i would i like he was always presented in the beginning as a face except for extreme survivor he was different Survivor is uh, Survivor's always presented as a badass fan favorite, so to speak, and then he'll he'll turn and then he'll be just this rotten, no good. You, you know, we'll do whatever it takes. That's why I use the um, the Triple H analogy. Um, and everything is justified to be be in the main event and be the champion for to be in that spot. He will do any. The, the, there is no line he will cross, and that's where he turns a bad guy. He's usually closer to a program where there's a title on the line, or he just lost the title. Um, so again, logic, that's when you would, a good guy or would maybe turn is when he's frustrated. He just lost the title. Or if me, then you find out how much that title means to them. And um, for the survivor, the, the fame and the title is like air to him. So that's why it's easy to turn survivor heel. Nice. Now we had, we were talking uh, before we went on and, and, uh, I, I don't think I ever mentioned this word with you, but uh, you know, one of the things I, I'm as I'm walking or, or you know, you know, taking my tour of the IWAs per se, <laughs> I, I, you know, pace has came up. You know, the, the pace of a league. You know, whether it's a fast-paced league, whether it's a slow-burning league, and uh, you know, some you know, some managers, believe it or not, they they base their whole character, you know turns on on the pace of the league you know and in, in, in a league like yeah in a league like the awl ccl they have a pay-per-view every cycle no 
I can't do it. <laughs> and, 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 and but but you know and, and like and some managers, you know, like I tell people, it's like, hey, it all depends on you know what style you want to play. If that's <clears> the style, you know, some people get bored quick, so they want to change characters real quick. So I no, get it. Oh my god, I'm quite <laughs> so quite the opposite. Like it, it's a challenge. That's the one thing when you're in a league with um when Melvin as commissioner is he has um a mo- lot of pay per views, uh, but they're not like he gives you time to build up though, which is good. Right. But yeah, yeah he, I, he, I saw the but, but I saw he, the timeline. Yeah, that was he's nice. got a timeline. You've seen his timeline, so yeah. you know the pay per views are coming. So like I, like this is cycle two. I got to put out the trash talk this weekend, have it be decent, and get ready to be part of the the first pay per view. And then and then you have to like get ready for the next one. There's no like back in the day. Like my preference is the slow burn. Slow. Like I learned this from again John Gabriel in the ECL, old good friend. Um, back in the day. And Diamond um, is slow burn it. We I did a seven match series with uh, Dave Mitchell and the ECL uh, with the Circle of Tyrants, um, and I was still running my the Survivor Dynasty. We did best of seven, so old, such old school. Like one of us was up three zero, and the other one went three three, went one three straight. Yeah, and then the seventh match was a tie. So uh-huh. we we got we got in contact with one another and said, let's do this unholy alliance angle, which we ran for over a year, meaning we combine, we do the free bird thing. So any combination of the four of us could represent the, the tag, the universal tag title. So, and no, nice. one, it, we were the champions for well over a year. I think we finally had to turn on each other or I think Dave went um, inactive is what happened. And then we, we redid, it was such, it worked so well. We pulled, we did the, um, unholy alliance angle for a long time it was fun so i i if i have my preference slow burn old school like how it used before pay-per-views back in the day um in the wwe oh yeah no i i definitely enjoy the pace that melvin's running uh, you know the one you know yeah he has uh, a good intermediate yeah it's a yeah. good mix yeah and for and people, not because it, I mean, it definitely is fast paced for the people who like the fast pace but he's reasonable about giving you three four cycles to get ready Oh yeah, no. I mean, and not, not to take anything away from the from the steel division because, like I said, those guys there they're doing their thing. So you know, certain managers navigate to different styles. You know, and you know what I want to highlight about the WWL is that it is a slower burning uh, league. You know, and uh, at the same time, you know, with a commissioner like Melvin that's gonna reward you for trash talking, even if your guy isn't you know making that front page, you're still gonna have you know you're still gonna have a shot at some of those. Uh, uh, commissioner titles just based on your trash talk alone if it's uh if it's worthy enough yeah and he's i, I want to say this about melvin he is probably the most fair guy you'll ever meet so me and him probably my best friend in the game but if i'm not sending in trash talk my guy's not getting pushed he will not <laughs> him like mike you, you didn't send trash talk for two cycles in a row so i can't do anything for you like he, he is very principle oriented which that's how i am so i like it won't hurt my feelings like you know or i'd be like you know you got to put um survivor in the main event he's like no he hasn't won anything in three four cycles what i can't just put him in the main event he's got to or have him sign a match a number one contender match and maybe i could we'll, we'll see what happens after the pay-per-view um like he's very fair so uh, he, if you're a rookie listening or someone that's looking for another league you can't find a better commissioner where you're going to get a fair shot like he doesn't play favorites you know he's gonna if you put the time in you're gonna you'll you'll reap the rewards like you said, you, it takes a few cycles to get your, like, you know, I got lucky winning three regionals after being out a year. Some people, it takes longer, though, to, to get these holes. Oh, yeah. And, you, you know, but if you're sending in trash talk, he's going to make you relevant, at least. At least you will matter. And you could get in a league that big, you know, um, you can get lost in the shuffle quickly if the, if not a right, the right commissioner is willing to um, put the time in to make you relevant. And he does that. Oh yeah, no, and and let, let let's say it like it is. Uh, it's it has a lot of you know like yourself and Melvin that are exclusive managers. So, you know that attraction alone is is you know worth taking a look there. You know because yeah, this is our only league. Our our time is completely all for the WWL. Yeah, I have no interest anytime soon with any other league. There is maybe one league, and that's with another elite commissioner. We're down the line. Uh, if I decided to expand, I would think about it. Right now, I'm exclusively 
my eight, my eight and only eight guys in the WWL. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, and uh, in terms of in terms of your personal uh, history, Michael, I mean, I, I know we went right into the characters because I was so pumped up about yeah. revealing uh, <laughs> revealing uh, well, the, uh, the mass the mass <laughs> icons there. But I mean, you've been in the IWA since '97. You had mentioned, yeah, Ju- June of '97, my first cycle with the uh, Hitman League, which is now defunct. Which I had a, a great time, and I got to. Uh, um, wrestle against and play against Rage, which at the time was the number one stable in the game. We're talking about Mike Hardell, Justin Para, um, Jordan, um, John Durrani, um, Kevin DeFranco in his prime. Um, like when you know, DeFranco back then, like you couldn't touch him, like especially in tag team. Um, it was uh, quite quite a period of time. I remember. Nice. Nice. Now, I mean, and uh, you've been on and off uh, since yeah, then? Yeah, uh, I was probably, I would, I want to say 15 years almost without missing more than a cycle or two. Like, to be honest, I, I, I had a good, uh, I was pretty consistent for a long time. Took like about a year break, came back, and then another. So I've had two like one year breaks. And, you know, that, that, that's, that's like the most extended amount of time I've ever missed. Now, so, obviously, um, a lot of a lot of fighters. Have, uh, what's the largest roster you ran, if you don't mind me? Wow, uh, I I started out with one was my smallest. I ran about five for five years, um, and then my largest, um, I estimated 100 about 120 approximately, like okay. active, like but I, that 120, to be honest with you, it, I wasn't active a whole year with them. I couldn't keep it up. I don't know how people run 200 or 120 for a year it's just it was too much way too time consuming to do all the flows and to figure out get every possibility out there and to be honest with you i won i efficiently wise if you want like strat for strat i probably won less with more hmm. yeah Interesting. yeah it's i because to me you because you allow yourself much more error it's just a mathematical equation when you only have five wrestlers to choose from makes you forces you to concentrate and put much more thought into it when you have 120 and a lot of times if you do it between only you have 101 fed you think you you yeah that you've that's covered nice. every you're allowing yourself to, to overthink stuff so that's what ends up happening when you have too many guys is you tend to overthink the holds and you just come up well that could happen then no you just wasted 10 strats. That's yeah, what with, uh, with some of the at-large guys that I've, uh, you know, had on air, I think uh, 120 is like uh, is like that ballpark because they have uh, 20 per fed. Yeah, no, I never did that. Never. I couldn't – that that blew my mind too. How could – I it would, I would always be in three feds max because um, it, the, the pace was too fast for me to keep up to make deadline for six straight feds. They're – right. I just the numbers, uh, <laughs> my head starts spinning. I couldn't do it. Oh yeah, no, I, I I've gone on air already. I you know, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not in it for the numbers. <laughs> I'm not in it for the numbers. <laughs> I'm definitely in it for the creative aspect of the game. Like I said, uh, my eyes like I'm I'm like you. My eyes start crossing when I see too many flow charts. I'm like, huh? Uh, yeah. Then I then the bad part is I'll I'll find one laying underneath a pile of other papers and I'll be like, <laughs> okay, this is the one I'm using this cycle. <laughs> this is. You know, but oh yeah, no, I've I, I uh, I've definitely leaned more to the creative aspect. Not not to take anything away from the at large. Like I said, I know it's a big game, and uh, yeah, I go on there all the time. Everyone's gonna play it their way. If if that, you know, I've had some managers. I mean, uh, one of the guys said, "Hey, you know what, Phil? I don't have the time to trash talk. I I have it's easier for me to you know pull out some charts, send some holds in, and just you know, and go with that." I'm like, "Hey, cool." And there was a time in in the IWA career in parentheses where I thought that way. Well, where I didn't have time to do the trash talk, but I was like, I was part of a, and I think it depends on the stable you're in. So in virus, everyone plays their game and you have, as long as you're having fun, that's, I was gone a year and a half. They welcomed me back. They still kept me on the email string. The best group of guys ever. Oh but yeah. Uh, but, but, if, but, if you haven't, if you haven't heard, go ahead and take a listen to that, uh, uh, Frank and uh, I had Frank and Super Balls on. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, that, j- just saying Super. There you go. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> listen to that episode. Um, yeah, it, it, like, but, but so I've been. But when you're part of a a stable that's going for number one, so when I was part of Ace and the Arrogant Empire, like Sly, um, 
can't think of his for, that's just known by Sly. And there was a bunch of other guys. They would have these used rosters, and I would say, do you want me to tag? So I go to these leagues, and I just provide – like I call them dummy guys. Like they were, they were just guys I make up. Mass wrestler number one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So I create ten guys for a league just for them to flow sixes, tags, help win TV tags, so help hit the report. All I so I wanted to be a contributor to being the number one stable. So I'm like, okay, I did the small time stuff. Let me try to contribute, and that now would be when, my now way. When, now when you would go there, you would just, I mean, you would sign minimal matches. You would just yeah. So like I would do. So when I was in, I did this probably only for, uh, I think the Empire, I remember doing this the most for, which is I would go in there with six guys and do the the uh, the minimum, and they would use those six and um, and just use them for multi-flows for, for the most part. Or I would go in and do the $12 deal, and I'd sign the... The, the singles matches but they would they do all they they would have a field day with the flow so if i had say i brought in 12 guys or 20 guys that that pretty much locks up world six for that you, league because gotcha. they were so good they, they were so good at flowing sixes you give them six flows they had it locked back then um so yeah that um but, but then this mind you this is after i won my own nationals gold feds uh, world tags, world sixes, which we talked about. I told you two separate managers taught me how to flow. I w- had no clue where to put the numbers back in the day. First five years, I was exclusively a singles manager. Any multis I won was completely happenstance. Nice. I, I mean, and uh, I mean, obviously, you don't want to put. You know, I don't want to put you on on blast, but uh, you oh, want to shout out what yeah, what, what manager that was? Well, um, for tag it was Joshua Hyatt. Um, Josh Hyatt taught me how to do tag. He called it mirroring, 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 um, the mirroring tag strat. And then I learned how to do six man from a fellow named John Durrani. He's a rate from a rage member and founder of uh, triple X. And nice. uh, Durrani um, actually lives in Connecticut with me. So we have a, a long history. Nice. I mean, uh, it, like I said, I, I, it's funny how as I'm getting managers on, there's even more and more people that just, you know, are outside of my radar, Michael. I mean, e- even even to the point, like I said, I was mentioning to you before I got on air. I mean, I, I remember seeing a, a email that had your name as a part of it. I don't remember exactly what I'm I'm going to go hunt it down after after I'm done with you. But, you know, it, there's just so many. I mean, uh, we mentioned uh, Pisanti. We mentioned t- t- you know, Tony. Yeah. And I did. I was thinking about what you said, and I don't know what stable it was, but we did, we did share a stable together. You'll you'll have to check that email to see what what stable it actually was, but I do remember us be, uh, sharing a stable together. I just oh, can't yeah, put, no. put, put it, my finger on it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just, I mean, like I said, the history that you make here in the IWA, like I uh, I got on air with uh, uh, with Jerry Orton and uh, and Timothy Clark in the ASL. And they started talking, you know, like history of their of their fighters like you're doing right now. And it's just it's just that that ability to let go, the ability to, you know, get a character and, you know, take him into this imaginary world and and make him relevant, you know, amongst other other managers. It's just awesome. Yeah. Just let just let them go. Yeah. Like Mike Moore's my, White Lightning was huge when I started, you know, it, like there's certain wrestlers that you like. There's a guy named Darian Toome who was big, he would, he would go into everyone's league and sign like 200 matches and bump Whoa. up his record, which pissed people off. But he, he would, do, he would write trash talk. He, he'd like, as you call them, he'd do cameos, but he'd go into every league and that's how he blew up his like, I think he had over 10,000 wins. I want to say he blew up his wrestler really quick. He went to every league, would sign every against every wrestler, pretty much a hundred matches. He like, so he, but no one complained because he's helping cards and, you know, he, he's not hurting nobody. But some people got, you know, it, like we talked about, there there's some people with thin skin in the IWA. <laughs> it doesn't take much for them to get uh, get all riled up. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's – it's uh, I mean, it, and that's why I'm enjoying the, the, the interactions with all the social media because it's allowing me to get to know the people behind the characters and, and like you – like we mentioned before – you know, we're, you know, even though we've had these interactions for years and years, you know, now all of a sudden I'm realizing, you know, that certain individuals got families, they got their, you know, 
responsibility. So it's just kind of like, you know, that it's just their their release, just like I'm using it as a release, you know. Yeah, and everyone has their their own reason why they play. Like you were saying, some people just don't get into the trash talk, and they're just like mathematician geniuses. And I imagine there's people who are just like math wizards that that play this game. Um, and then there's people who like totally the other end, care less about the numbers and just get into the that that role play. Um, and then there's people in the middle, like me and, and others who like I'm really good at probabilities, so I'm decent at strats i don't get into the trends as much as other people do i focus more on uh probabilities and uh but i enjoy also the the character development but like it's gotta be development slow burn like we talked about i oh, don't yeah. do the uh or, you know now, the wham bam th- wham bam wham yeah, bam thank yeah. you <laughs> to me that's just yeah it doesn't work for me oh yeah no we had uh we had another uh one of my uh you know long time friends here in the iwa uh eric bug you know you know, he calls it the I'm better than you trash talk. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, we get it, you know, but, you know, can we run an angle now? It's like, can we run? It's like, yeah, I get something. it. You're the, yeah, you know, it's like, you know, let's go ahead and let, let's, let's work something out now. Let's work an angle towards this next pay-per-view, you know? Yeah. You got to have a build up. Yeah. And, and develop, always develop your character for all the, 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 the young manners are out there, you know, always add something, you know? And uh, even if it's real life or whatever the case may be, you know, always throw something else in there. Oh, yeah. And and, and, and we, we had mentioned also, you know, it's uh, it's a nice thing that Melvin allows anything, you know, anything that goes, you know, in the yeah. WWO. Because yeah. I, I'm reading through the trash talk and, you know, we got, you know, a magic, <laughs> name. you know, magic tiger. You got that, <laughs> you know, you got everything. And, and, and it does. Yeah. Thing, you know? He was like that with the MBL too. Very. um. In, uh, what's the word uh inclusive yeah not exclusive inclusive he includes everyone he if you if you're willing like like i said if you're willing to put the time in and the work in then you're going to reap the rewards of being relevant in a league and there's no way that's going to happen anymore in any other league than the wwl the way he yeah, works no, and let, 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 let me get your opinion on this uh, michael while i have you on i i know we're getting close to that hour but uh okay. I, I, at the same time i, I, I want to see your opinion on uh like certain themed leagues i mean we mentioned you know, like, like for instance, right now in the WWL, uh, we have some characters that are, you know, well, let's just say it like it is. They're famous, you know, Warner they're, Brother characters. They're, you know, they're, they're Batman. They're out. They're out there. Yeah. They're out there. You know, they're famous. But <laughs> in in the way I was explaining to you is the way I see it is they're coming from you know a league like the superhero league where they were created and maybe they ran an angle that they had to leave or whatever the case might be. Yeah. And and here they are now in the WWL. You know. Uh, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of people navigating their characters like that, I mean, h- how do you work to get, you know, get those characters involved? How do you work to get those characters? Uh... I I think it goes back to the whole logic thing. So if they could write something that makes sense to me, I'll work with them. If they're just going to talk about flying around, <laughs> you know, like right. as long kinda... as they as long as they give me something to work with. And it's fine, and that's how with Melvin. As long as they, they, if they're sending trash talk and they're active and they're trying, they're going to get the same fair shake as anybody else. But nice. also, I'm a firm believer in the the cream rises to the top. So if they make the title page, uh, no one cares what they're called Batman or shit, mass shit dude number two. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's a matter of you know if you're if he's writing quality trash talk and winning some matches, hitting the title page, you know sporadically at least, then the, there's no reason he should be judged any differently. Because I remember in the Melvin interview, you were like, are you going to allow this guy to hoard these uh, top spots? And he really didn't get a chance to answer. And I said, well, when I get on the show, I'll I'll explain why I really don't feel too bad about it. Because to me, if it doesn't matter if I have these big records, because I could just be ballooning these records up. If I don't win, like I did, I'm going to get title shots because I got on the, on the title page. But meaning like, the other guys, if they're good enough, they'll win regional titles and they'll get TV shots. Like I could suck right. if I suck, it doesn't matter if I'm ranked three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna win your TV title. Oh yeah, no, and, and to that and to that point, like you're saying, I mean, now that I know even more so that it's an exclusive to this league. Absolutely. I mean that yeah. that just adds to the you know adds to the dimension because like I told. You know, obviously, Mike uh, Melvin was uh, pretty hush hush about it. He's all like, "Hey, you'll find out when you find out." And then, you know, of <laughs> yeah, course, yeah. 
you know, we reached out and I was like, okay, you know what, then I'll get to the bottom of it. And if it was just going to be, and, and like I said, if it was just going to be another at-large player coming in, like I, I had this bad idea, in, like in the back of my head before you reached out to me, Michael, yeah. I thought it was maybe uh, the Matt Unit guy. Are you familiar with Matt Unit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I, else I familiar thought, with Matt, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be Matt Unick, and I thought maybe, you know, I thought there was going to be this big reveal that maybe Matt Unick is running these guys, and, you know, I was like, don't, don't, I hope it's not Matt Unick. No, no. Tell me it's no. not Matt Unick. It's like, but at, at the same time, you know, it's nice to, it's refreshing to, you know, all right, cool, now I get it. Okay, here and we like go. I told here you, two, two of those top, like, those, uh, two of those top six guys, top 10 guys are, are going to be used exclusively as tags. So in very few instances, will that, will I even be taking advantage of their, their record positioning, their, their singles will, will suffer. But because this is my only league, I have that luxury where I have six other people that I could do singles with because six men, you can, yeah, I could throw in at least one good single in a six, but, um, yeah, no, yeah. It, it, it it adds it adds another. I mean, and again, like uh, I I'll be I'll be the first one to say it, and I'll say it again and again. It's what's kept me away from a league like the BRL, Mike. I mean, because you know, uh, and I'll say it. You know, Michael. Uh, I think it's uh, Mark Duchesne. You know, yeah, he has Mark, he yeah. has he has the top spots secured, and it's a it's a tough fucking league. I'll, I'll be the first one to say it. That, oh no, that, they're that, deep. yeah, they both that, yeah that <laughs> that league right there is tough. Yeah. and I'm just I, I'm not good enough, and and. You know, in a league like that, that's already flowing with trash talk. It's overwhelmed with trash talk. It's hard to get over. So like I'm not lost in the shuffle again. Like exactly. About, so yeah. yeah. So it, it, in my case, you know, it didn't work for me. So you know, kudos and to that, the BRL. Like I said, they and, have and their they have their game flow. I'm sorry, sorry, to interrupt you. I was oh. like, that's that's what leads to people. That's what led me, or I think some people, is you have you feel like you got to fight fire with fire. So you go in there yes. with your four or five guys, and it's not it's not enough. So you're like, okay, I'll create ten more. And then you're like, oh, now look, now I could grab a couple regionals and I got a couple extra shots. So it's it breed the flooding can breed flooding sometimes. And I think that's what what happened um, during some period in the IWA is it's a copycat league, just like in real wrestling. People see what works and you're like, oh, OK, well, maybe I should do 20 a Fed and uh, cover all the six flows, uh, you know, whatever right. the case is. And uh, you, you lose track of what, why you got interest in the game, and um, like I'll never, I'll never go back to 120. No, <laughs> you're like I'm done. No, no I, I will like, I, I would expand a little. Like I could see, I'm trying to be realistic. Like let's see if I'm doing A here. I do two other leagues with maybe t- like max 10. So you're saying max my roster would be three leagues, 28 guys. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, Man- that's, manageable. It, that's manageable to me, yeah. yeah most and, and let's say, let, let's say like it is, Michael. I mean, it's also you're talking about actually continuing trash talk as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. At least, at least in the this other league that I have in mind, and I'm talking six months down the road where I, I would uh, join, and I where we talked about we already have an angle already set in place if I joined. Nice. Another elite league, another elite commissioner. And I don't mind saying it's the XPL seven. I'll, I'll uh, shout out to him. Uh, yeah, hopefully, ho- hopefully, hopefully we can get him on eventually. Yeah, yeah. what I'll do is I'll I'll hit him up and put a, a good word in for you. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, come on, come on, on seven. Like I said, I mean, I, I, he's another one. Like I said, he's kept that league moving year in year out. So yeah, puts yeah, a high high priority on trash talk. You know, yeah. I definitely want to get him on now, uh, Michael. I mean. Any last little, any last words before we sign off on this one? I, I mean, I, I'm definitely going to have you back on. We've already talked in terms of uh, getting you back on to talk some more WWL, but uh, in terms of this uh, this show here, a, a, any other last minute uh, words? No, I think we covered everything, man. Or at least uh, close to. Well, whatever we didn't cover, we'll get in. Uh, well, me and with me and Melvin and that uh, WWL uh, review. Oh yeah, man. Like I said, I mean, we'll touch we'll touch some more IWA history. Like I said, I, I bet you guys have some great stories uh, that, that that have crossed, uh, you know, crossed over the years. Oh yeah, we've only touched on a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and again, and anyone listening, like I said, Michael, anybody that you know that wants to come on, like I said, my my airwaves are open. Uh, you know, I'd love to have as many, uh, even if it's a retired manager. I'm, I am trying to get on a few uh, retired managers uh, to come on and you know get their IWA history on. You know, because, you know, 
I'm not trying to erase any history. I'm actually trying to cover create each and new. every. Yeah. Oh yeah, create create some new ones and uh, at the same time I keep having fun with the side of UA. Absolutely, man. Um, thank you for having me on. It's been a pleasure. Oh yeah. Now you guys have been listening to the historic Michael Giuliano, exclusive to the WWL. So go check him out right there. You guys have a good night. You've been listening to IWA Flip. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, Michael. All right. Thank you. Good night.